Hello YouTube, welcome to Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube intro in Adobe After Effects for free. And we're going to show you step by step how to properly do everything. So this is something a little bit different compared to what we usually do here uh, on our channel, but uh, we have gotten quite a few comments and uh, emails asking us how we make our intros. And of course here at Ambrose, we're always wanting to help out others. So we are going to show you how we do our intros and how you can do it as well for free. Uh, some of the things you will need to download, you will need to download Adobe After Effects. We will show you how to do that. And of course the, uh, the media encoder, which will come with it, which is in Adobe Cloud, Creative Cloud right here. So first, we're going to show you guys, we're going to open up a couple files right here. We're going to show you guys exactly what we're going to be getting done. So this is the intro, as you guys probably know, this is uh, one of our uh, most known intros that we usually use. And of course, we made plenty of others, but this is the one we're going to be showing you how we made today. Some of the things you'll be needing is, of course, your logo. If you do have one, be sure it is a PNG file. If not, there are ways to convert an image over to PNG. Uh, if you do not know how to do that, like I said, there are plenty of videos online that show you how to do that. So what we're first going to do is we are going to go to open up a internet tab and we are going to go to Google. So what we're going to type in here is we are going to go to Adobe After Effects and then we're going to go free. And what's going to happen is you're going to go to their website and up here you're going to see really quickly it's going to say free trial right there. It's going to disappear because I'm signed into my Adobe account, so it's no longer free for me. And basically, what this is, what it is, is that Adobe offers a 30-day uh, free trial on their software. And so, I do believe you do have to put in a credit card, but do not worry; they will not charge you. They will only charge you as long as you cancel it before the 30 days. And trust me, that is very important when using uh, the next program as well that we're going to show you. So of course, you're going to click the download button. You're going to have to play, uh, create an account. You're going to have to uh, put some of your information in. And of course, you're going to answer some questions. We, a lot of us are beginners. If uh, most, most of you are going to click beginner if you like to. You can click experience. I don't think there's really too much of a difference. Uh, so we're going to do that. Of course, click continue. And of course, this is just going to take you through the files. And it's going to be downloading right here. You're going to allow it. And then of course, finish the rest. So of course, since we already have ours downloaded, we're not going to do all of that. So be sure just to follow the steps. Next, we're going to go to another tab and we're going to type in video, whoops, videoblocks.com. Now, video blocks is what we've been using quite a bit. Um, it is a very popular website to get these After Effects um, folders from. There are other websites you can do it. Um, we have not tried them yet, but if you know of any, feel free to do so. Uh, but here we're going to use video blocks for this one. So we're going to click After Effects. You will have to make an account. Now, in order to get free content from here, we're going to click After Effects up here. In order to get free content from here, you they do offer a seven-day trial. Be sure, be sure to take the seven-day trial. Uh, we accidentally, I thought I signed up for the seven day trial and what it actually was, was a year membership, which is 150 bucks. And sadly we only got, I think about half of it back. So that was no fun. Uh, so be sure that you do the free trial and you take the steps cautiously. You will have to put in a credit card. They do say that they will charge like a five to 20 cent fee. I'm sorry, it's not a fee, but a charge. And what that will do is that pretty much they're testing to make sure that your credit card is in working order and that it's not a fake credit card. Uh, so you will not see that. Like I said, it's just a test from them. So now what we're going to do, like I said, up here at After Effects, we have plenty of different templates. The one that we're going to be doing today is logo reveal. If you do not have a logo, of course, they have other ones where you can just do simple lettering or slideshows or whichever one you want, feel free to take a look through all this. They also do have Apple Motion templates here. Uh, I am on a Windows right now. Uh, these, Most of these do work for Mac, I'm pretty sure, but just to make sure, uh, double check. So we're gonna click Logo Reveal right here, and it's gonna bring us to this page. And they have quite a selection. So as you see right here, all, we have 1.6 thousand templates to choose from. Now, not 
Now, if you're doing the free trial, you um, only have 319 to choose from. But if you decide not to do the trial and you want to buy one of these, what the marketplace is is simply people that create their own YouTube intros and templates. They upload it to video blocks and then they sell their stuff on their website. And uh, they range anywhere, I think, from about $20 to even to upwards. I think sometimes they go a little bit cheaper. Uh, I never purchase anyone, any of them. But if you're looking for a unique intro, he will just show you this one real quick. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the sound, but I definitely can. So if you're looking for a unique intro that you want, that you know for sure no one else will have, then be sure to um, check out here because like I said, you'll have to purchase one. It's going to cost a little bit more, uh, but then you, you will have a very rare intro that most likely no other person will have. Of course, in this video, we're going to go to a limited library. Uh, of course, from this one, as you can see right here, here is our Glitch logo. Uh, this is one of the videos that we used. Um, there's plenty of our other logos. We've used this one right here, too. Uh, we've used this guy right here as well. We've used plenty of videos so you guys uh, watch our channel, of course. So, we're going to go ahead and click this one right here, which is the Glitch logo. You're going to click the download button. It will pop up down here, or whichever um, internet... Explore or Firefox, whatever you're using. Let's click it one more time. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to simply save as, and you're going to save it into whatever file you want. As you can see, we have plenty of them right here. And that's it on these two websites. So we're going to go ahead and X out of those. X out. We're going to close those tabs. Very good. So now we're going to go to our folder. So as you can see right here, this is it's going to come in a zip folder so what you will need to do is you will need to extract them all uh, be sure to extract them into a folder that you're working with or that a place where you know and uh, what we are going to do is uh, of course here this is for your Mac if you do have a Mac this one is for Windows we're gonna simply show no we're not gonna show you guys this is the intro right here the preview before we edited it but this is what you're wanting right here the Adobe After Effects so now that that is done we're going to open Adobe After Effects, and you're also going to open the Media Encoder as well. What this is, is in Adobe After Effects, what they used to do is you would edit your video, whatever template you were working on, and then when you would render it, you would render it in the same software. And what happened with that is that if someone wanted to continue making more templates, they couldn't do that unless this finished rendering and uh, was created. So what this media encoder is, is that it simply just takes whatever file you have over here, moves it over into the encoder, and it renders it here while you can still work on another project. Fairly simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Open Project, and we're going to go to the file that we wanted, which is right here, Glitch Logo. Sorry, my mouse is being a little weird, and we're going to click this. Now, sometimes this will pop up. What happens is that depending on what um, Windows you're using, if you do have Windows, we are on Windows 10. As you can see, this is version Windows 9. So you simply just click OK. Now, this is also going to happen as well. You will see this in quite a few folders. As you can see, three files are missing. Sometimes this is a problem. Sometimes it's not. And basically what it is is that whoever created the file was using some kind of additive for instance, like a um, like a font that you don't have downloaded onto your computer, and so it will say that file is missing, and you won't be able to use that font. So, like I said, sometimes if it's had a, it's been a problem because um, we're gonna go ahead and render this real quick to show you the preview. So what happens is that there's some folders that you will get where there are missing files, and the whole uh, project will not come to play. Uh, for instance, sometimes the background will be missing, and so it just doesn't look good. So be sure you pick the correct file. Like I said, some files will work and some will not. So here is our file that is rendered. This is before we do anything. So we'll go ahead and press pause on that. Now we're going to go ahead and add our logo. So what we're going to do is there's a few ways of doing it. You can either file and open it or import it, I'm sorry, or you can simply click this box, double click it, and it will open this file. And what we're looking for is our logo. So this is our PNG logo. So we're going to go open this up. As you can see, it's right here. Now we're going to click the replace your logo here. So we'll click this down, double click on edit logo. And here is, let's see if it pops up. 
there it is. This is the logo that came with uh, the file. So what we're simply going to do is we're going to drag our logo. You'll see that black line. You're going to drop it right above the logo box that's already there. As you can see, my uh, logo is pretty well expanded, so we're going to go ahead and shrink it down. So by clicking this, clicking the S key uh, on Windows, which I'm sure it will be the same thing on a Mac, this is will be your scale or your size, and we're simply just going to drag it down to the desired um, size that we want. As you can see, we're going to line it up with what we previously have there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to delete the uh, old logo. Now this one does have a subtext. Some of them will have either multiple subtexts or they will have multiple areas where you can put uh, pictures. But this one is just a simple one. So we're going to click the subtext, double click this, play, type in whatever you want. We're going to type in, actually we have channel, but we're going to do uh, always original. Well, that's not, there we go. And that's not spelled right. There we go. Original. So now if you do want to adjust the lettering, like I said, some of the files you can't really expand too much on too much of the files because it will overlap. But if you do, you simply just click the S key again, which then you can adjust the size. Uh, you can even go over here, but we are going to keep the original size that we have now. So that is all that we have to do. Now we have two files here. We have a 1920p and a 720p. And this is just your pixel rating on editing your video. Of course, we're going to want the highest video unless you are doing in 720, but we're going to do 1920. Be sure to be sure to click the correct box when doing that. If you have it on the 720p, it will render in that. So we don't want that. And of course, as you can see, we'll go ahead and drag it through and always original. And like I said, depending on how your uh, computer is, it may take a while, it may not. What we're simply going to do is go up to this button. We're going to click Add to Media Encoder. Click this button. And there it is. Uh, this was the previous one that we just did, so we will go ahead and remove that. Um, if you want to save this in a certain file, uh, that way you can simply find it. Simply click the button, click whatever folder you want to save it in, and we will save it right here. And we will type in Ambrose Landscaping new logo and that's what we will save it as now if you do uh, the h264 what this pretty much is is like an mp4 format basically if you do want to change that to something else uh, you can adjust it in here uh, we're not going to do that since it's already uh, in play so of course you have all these other um, pretty much things that you can uh, save it as but like i said we're going to go save it as that and simply by just clicking this button or clicking the line, click the play button, it will start rendering down here. Now, like I said, depending on how long the file is uh, or how fast your computer is, it may take a while. We've had some that have taken upwards over two to even three hours. Uh, this one simply, as you can see, the time's going down, so it won't take long at all. Most likely it'll only take a few minutes. And uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and let that render. And of course, since we already have it done, uh, we'll just show you basically what the uh, after is, so we don't have to, it's kind of like what you see in the cooking shows, they already have something made, but we're going to go ahead and show you guys, this is basically what it's going to look like. Now when we render it, it doesn't come with a sound, a lot of the files do come with sound, uh, if you are wanting the sound and if it did not get edited in there, basically just go back to your previous folder, use the preview video that does have the audio in there, and uh, you can just use that in whatever video file you are editing. So that is it, guys. That is how you make a video. Like I said, uh, each folder is going to be different. Each computer is going to be different the way you do it. Uh, but like I said, if you do the trials that they offer and cancel them before the last day, then they will not charge you and you will get away with a free logo. Or I'm sorry, a free intro for your YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this channel, or I'm sorry, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys learned a lot, and uh, hopefully we covered everything. Uh, like I said, if we did not, please leave a comment in uh, the comment box down below, and we will be sure to answer it. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping.